Wow. <laughs> Salute to everybody in the building. Regis Pro Gray. I guess some may say he lost tonight against Danielito Zarilla. Well, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you got to be careful when you got these mean machine type of dudes that's coming into the ring. You got to be careful, man. And Regis Pro Gray, he one some may say he got a gift tonight against the vastly unknown Danielito Zarilla. Salute to everybody in the building. Hit that like button for your boy. Wow, what a shocker, right? Regis Progre almost lost his world title tonight in New Orleans. I mean, it was a homecoming fight, it's introduction to the zone platform, and Regis Progre almost almost laid an egg tonight. He looked it really bad in the fight. He doesn't look good in the fight. And to be honest, Daniel Lito Zarita or uh, Zarilo didn't come to fight necessarily. He didn't necessarily come to fight either. Probably one of the most boring fights I've seen this year. Uh, salute to D. Lucky for the super chase. That salute. I got Haney over Regis. He didn't look his best. Not even close. Man, you only good as your last fight. And tonight, Regis did not look good. Um, as of right now, I got Haney beating Regis. If Regis shows up like this against David Haney, David Haney got it. David Haney could definitely get him. Um, he looked at really, really bad tonight. Really bad. Um, Zarilla was he was horrible, bro. I don't want to see Zarilla again, right? Um, I don't want to see Zarilla again. He he was running around the ring a lot, you know. Um, he made it a difficult fight, and he did what he thought he needed to do to get the job done. Unfortunately for him, they wasn't going to give it to him, right? Yeah, Regis couldn't cut off the ring. Regis looked a lot slower than dude. Dude did a good job of clinching him. Um, in close quarters, he did a good job of clinching. And Regis get, was weary of dude's straight right hand. He was really awkward, um, really just really weird in there. And Regis, one may say Regis probably got surprised by this dude tonight. <laughs> Regis probably got surprised tonight, man. He probably went up in there, thought it was going to be a layup, man. And dude came up in there and, you know, put up a hell of a – look, this is like the Karen Kukachan fight, right? Tiafimo Lopez, Sandro Martin. You got to be careful with these mean machine type of dudes. You know what I'm saying? Just because you don't know who they are don't mean they can – he made Regis Progre look really bad tonight. Really bad. Regis Progre looked bad tonight. I mean, the, the, the judges took like damn near five minutes to, to come up with a decision. Is it really to, – to, to, he is a, seemed like a much bigger guy than Regis, but, I mean, he didn't really come to fight, man. It was a boring fight, you know. Salute to everybody in the building. Hit that like button for your boy. What's up, AOB? Easy. I see you in the building, bro. Yeah, man. Regis, man. He looked it real bad tonight, man. If he was trying to state his case to get one of the big fights, y'all know I'm a Regis fan, but I, I always keep it 100. If he was trying to state his case to get one of these bigger, bigger name fighters or some of these lightweights that's coming up, man, he did a bad job tonight. They probably saw him as food tonight. Maybe they could lure, he could lure him in and you know, show up and show out in another way. But this is a really dude definitely um, stylistically gave him a lot of problems tonight. And this is what they say. Styles make fights. This dude gave Regis Progre a hell of problems tonight. He barely kept his belt today. A lot of people didn't seem to show up for the fight. You know, your boy, but should pay attention to the crowd. How the crowd looking, man. Seeing a lot of people dressed up as empty seats tonight. A lot of people didn't show up for the Rougarou tonight. Um, <laughs> that's why you can. <laughs> I think you can never take no opponent for granted, bro. You got to come up in there and maybe this dude didn't seem to on the tape that they see to this guy. I didn't even heard this dude. Uh, he fought Barboza, but I didn't see that fight. But maybe this dude didn't even fight nothing like he was fighting in this fight. He can't. <laughs> Similar to what Kara Kukachan did to Boots. Prior, Kukachan didn't fight like that. But he got up and there with John Boots in and he put up a performance of a lifetime. And this is what some of these B-side dudes do sometimes, man. You got to be careful, man. Rougarou almost, almost slipped on a banana peel tonight, man. He almost slipped on a banana peel, man. Yeah, Regis is one of my favorites too, bro. But you already know, man. I got to keep it 100, man. He looked really bad tonight. I'm not saying he's food or nothing. You know, maybe it's a stylistic thing. Regis is a small guy. For the weight class, but 
is Zarela seemed like he had some power. Zarela was just scary though, bro. If I'm honest, Zarela seemed like he could have if he really pressed Regis. Um, but he was he seemed like he was scary as hell. And really, that's what he get. You know what I'm saying? That's what he get tonight. I mean, you know, he had the big ass ring. It was full advantage for him, and he didn't get the job done. So that's I mean, that's what he get. You know, do too much running and not enough fighting. It was not enough punches thrown in that fight tonight. I would I would have hated to have been a judge of that fight. They just gave it to Regis by default. You say he can't beat Haney? I don't know, man. Yeah, Haney probably does beat the Regis that showed up tonight for sure, bro. For sure. That shit, that, that was a bad performance for Regis tonight. Dave, David Haney might hop all up on it now. Move up, go ahead and collect that belt from Regis real quick, and then segue right up into 140 pounds. Get up out the way from Shakur Stevenson. So Regis Vrogray did himself a favor tonight. He said, y'all sleeping on Haney. Now, nah, we ain't sleeping on Haney, man. He just ain't showing no power, though. See, the, but, but the difference between Zarilla and Haney is um, Zarilla seemed to have some pop on him. Haney doesn't necessarily got that pop on him, but we'll see how he looks at 140. He might be stronger. But if Sabrio, if Sabrio was fought Regis tonight, Regis would have lost. If Regis showed up like he did, he can't show up in, in the, um, against Sabrio um, like he did tonight against Zarilla, even though, you know, Zarilla is a, it seemed like an awkward style to deal with. What's up, Kevin? Well, I see you in the building. Zarilla was really awkward. He was moving around a whole lot. Really wasn't fighting. You know, he'll surprise Regis with a with Jack in the Box right hand, you know, and Regis would get frustrated, you know, trying to work his way in, stalking the guy, dude, moving around, moving around, moving around, moving around, moving around. That's it. He was really good at holding. Um, he looked like the bigger, stronger guy, and he seemed like he was able to actually kind of hurt Regis, but he was he wasn't really putting up too much offense. I I, I don't ever want to see him again. To be honest with you, now I can see if he put up that type of performance and really was throwing punches and really making something happen, but nah, man, nah, Regis ain't never been trash, bro. That's cap. Just a bad night. That's all. It was a bad night in the office. Bad night. Bad night at home too. He says Devin Haney is the most overrated fighter. <laughs> he said Haney would be any fight at one forty right now. Nah, man, he got to show that. He got to show that. We saw tonight what happened to Regis. He damn near lost against this dude. You never even heard of, bro. You got to be kidding. We don't know. Yeah, Kevin, well, you didn't miss nothing tonight, though, bro. We, the, the, the fight was very lackluster. Not, not, no, nothing significant really happened. Uh, Regis slipping all over the place in the rain. Nothing, nothing really happened, y'all. Really. You said Regis versus Russell. Now nah, Regis would have lost tonight. If this Regis shows up against any of those elite guys, um, he he'll arguably lose. He'll lose. He looked really bad tonight. He looked a lot better in his last fight against Zapata. A lot better, sharper, faster. You know, but in this fight, he didn't look too good. He didn't look good at all. He would have got beat by. He probably would have got beat by Haney tonight. You said Mateus was sending Haney to the hospital. I don't know. Yeah, Zarela was on the skates, though, bro. I don't know, man. But I tell you this, I think that style will get Regis hella problems. A long, rangy guy. Uh, with some hand speed, with some nice pop, give Regis Pro great hella problems. And we saw that tonight. This dude was just scary as hell. But if you got a dude who's aggressive, who come to fight, who's who has that same style but it's not, not scary, yeah, Regis would have definitely lost. Regis would have definitely lost, man. You said Haney would be, be drained at 135. Haney need to move up to 140 then, man. Yeah, man. People quick turn against fighters quick, man. That dude, that dude had an awkward style. Um, this is why I tell you guys, man, don't be don't be sleep on these mean machine dudes, man. These dudes will show up on you. You know what I'm saying? I had no idea who this Zarilla dude was. I expected Progray to go out there and do what Progray does. 
And sure enough, as that as the, as the fight went on, this dude damn near won a damn fight. This dude arguably won that fight tonight. But they gave Regis a gift. I don't know. I don't know if it was a gift. Some may say it's a gift. I mean, shit. We expected Rugeru to go up in there and bite this dude. You said Karen wasn't running. Karen was doing a good job. Me Machine was way more offensive than in your face. Yeah, he was. Me Machine came to win, too. He didn't come to lay down. This dude, he came to win, but he didn't come to fight. I tell you that. This 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 Danielito dude, he came to win, but he didn't come to fight. Me Machine, he came to fight. Bud had to beat it out of him. You know what I'm saying? Um, who else Who else had a B-sided? Um, Sandro Martin against um shit then he beat mikey yeah shit the b-side type dude you know these dudes coming up in here with these styles you know moving around the ring you got to be you know a lot of fighters ain't used to that shit we see how boost looked against karen when karen employed that that approach he looked at bad tfe won't look at bad against sandro uh regis looked at bad tonight against zarilla you said Me Machine would have beat Sean Porter in his prime. Probably. Maybe. Styles make fights, y'all, at the end of the day. Who has the best style? Whose style could adapt to any other style? I think that's the best fighter. Any style, the style that could adapt to any other style. I think Regis Proger is a lot better than this guy. However, stylistically, um, this dude, this, this, the game plan the approach that he applied tonight gave Regis Proger a hell of fucking problem. To the point where Regis Proge, he damn near overrated in a lot of people's eyes now, I see. We go have to see, though. We go have to see how Regis Proge looks in his next one. But in this one, he looked really bad. <laughs> Rougarou looked bad tonight, y'all. Karen, Karen looked good, man. Karen, Karen looked good in his fight. I wasn't necessarily, I didn't, I wasn't necessarily bored with Karen and, and Boots fight. I wasn't bored at all. But this fight, I was bored as a mug. This fight was boring. Dude was running, bro. He wasn't really trying to, you know, he shut the crowd up and shit. And what Regis should have did since he was at home, he should have had that ring, the smallest ring he he, he should have had. But he didn't again. He probably didn't know this dude was gonna apply this game plan, this style. He thought dude was gonna be more in your face coming in the fight. Next thing you know, this dude turned to Floyd Mayweather, the Dominican Floyd Mayweather up in there, bro. Surprise, Regis. <laughs> I don't want to see him again, man. I don't want to see Zarilla again. Yeah, let's get the likes up, man. Come on, man. Regis wasn't throwing enough punches, but I, I see what you're saying, Orlando. He wasn't, but every time he did something, do a sneak that right hand. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. It was a bad fight. We just can't trade with Mateus like that. I agree, bro. Mateus is a much more explosive puncher. We just got to be careful, man. He didn't look good tonight, man. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna keep an eye on Regis. He might be, he might be falling down the hill a little bit. He might be falling down the hill. I don't know. We got to see how he looking the next one. But I know for sure this style that this Zarilla dude employed tonight gave Regis a lot of problems, and it will lead me to believe that if Devin Haney used the same approach and if Devin Haney's chin is good as I believe it is. He can also do the same thing and actually get a clear cut victory over Regis Procre. Based off what I've seen tonight, you don't need as good as your last fight. No, I don't want to see Zarilla again, man. He didn't come to win, man. When you're fighting a champion like that, I get what he was doing, but you also got to show that you you coming to win, bro. And I'm I, I'm kind of low key glad they didn't give it to him. You know what I'm saying? Because he 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 really bored me tonight. He bored me tonight, bro. He didn't. He didn't come in a fight. I can see he was boxing, you know, moving around, boom, 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 bam. Then moving around, boom, boom, bam, counter, boom. Nah, he didn't do none of that, bro. He didn't do none of that. So they gave it to Rugaru. They said, "Fuck it, we can't decide who won this fight. Let's just get to read this. Forget it. Nobody, this is, nobody go want to see this guy again." You said, "Can we stop asking for now? Nah, we need to see Tank fight somebody for real." We ain't about to start doing this shit now. So Tank can fight who? Nah. 
He said, Regis. <laughs> nah, we ain't about to start protecting Tank, bro. Tank needs to fight. Um, Who is he supposed to be fighting? Tank needs to be fighting Devin or somebody right now. Hey, man, Zarilla almost got, got the title tonight, bro, from that game plan. He almost he survived and got paid. He almost got a title, too. That shit crazy. You said I went to the movies, seen Flash, and ran into Tiafimo Sr. At the casino, he was losing all his son's money. Oh, man. Yeah, that's right, Why Sam. Style makes fights, man. That dude had an awkward style. He surprised Regis tonight, and Regis looked really bad against this style. He looked real bad. Mateus is good, bro. But he's there to be here, too. You know, he's kind of there to be here. He ain't going to be moving around the ring like Zarilla. Mateus is going to come to fight. Yeah, I don't want to see that dude again, man. I don't want to see him. I mean, maybe, maybe now Tank and them these guys will hop on Regis or something. Maybe, maybe we can see one of Regis fight. Get, get, maybe now he can get one of these fights with one of these dudes because he looked really vulnerable tonight. And it's up to him to show that look, man, just a bad night in the office because he looked like he looked shit. Yeah, you ain't lying. That's what I was just saying. Why I see him? That's how kind of how Boots fight was with Karen Kukachan. Um, dudes that come out of nowhere. Who really didn't even use that style before come out nowhere using that style and uses it well could really surprise a guy and make a, a really good fighter look bad. And that's what we saw tonight. But yeah, man, that's the that's the that's the fight, man. Regis almost lost tonight. He almost lost. <laughs> He almost lost his world titles to Danielito Zarela. I mean, if you had asked me a week ago, if you had told me a week ago, Regis was almost going to lose or go lose to this dude, I would have told you you was crazy. But this is boxing, man. You never know what's going to happen. But yeah, you guys, that's it, man. Um, Danielito Zarilla. Um, I don't want to see him again. Hopefully the zone don't put him on no more cards. Um, not with that type of nah, I don't want to see do it again, man. That was a that was a really bad showing. If you go come to fight a champion, um, you gotta come to show show that you coming to fight the champion. I mean, he had a good game plan, and I, I believe it did, did work really well, but I don't want to see him again. As a boxing fan, I don't want to see you in the in the ring again, bro. So go back to um, the dark cards and and work your way up or whatever the case may be. I don't want to see him on TV no more fighting no champions or no shit like that. And for Regis Progre, um, he got to go back to the drawing board, fix a lot of things. Um, maybe I I don't know I don't know. But maybe he he he's gonna have to go back to the drawing board, work on his foot speed or something. Um, just in case you know you you need to learn how to deal with those type of styles. And this is why you need a lot of fights fighting Mr. Mahoos in different styles because then you be like, okay, I've seen there, been there, done that before. We just program at this point of his career, he shouldn't have this type of performance against this type of guy, but he ain't been in there with too many dudes that style and profile like Zarilla did tonight. But yeah, you guys, that's the video. We just program almost lose against Danielito Zarilla. We'll see what happens. Like, subscribe, Hodge your boy. Peace out.